How's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And we're at Walmart right now because we just got the absolute best deal ever we pretty much stole. So yeah, this thing was only $275. It's basically a full setup that we're gonna upgrade with a graphics card. And uh, it was kind of crazy how we got it. We were not expecting this. We're gonna show you that, but first hit work from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. With Windows 10, it is so easy just to go onto the website using the link in the description down below and then go to the windows 10 click buy it now add code tb20 then go to the checkout put in your payment info and then boom you will get within a few seconds or a few minutes an activation code that you will go into windows 10 put in the activation code and it is fully legit it will work out of the box and you will have a fully activated windows 10 license we use gvg mall for all the pcs we built here at the toasty bros and so should you so definitely check the link in the description down below and use code tb20 to save money on checkouts I, I had a thought he had a thought <laughs> to, to recording right to now, do but. these without looking suspicious is if we had earpiece ones like bluetooth because then we just bring like we're on the phone so we're at walmart um we showed up at walmart with no real plan there's supposedly a pretty decent setup that we're gonna buy maybe there's supposed to be a computer like a whole setup that jackson saw when he was here a few i don't days see ago. it though yeah, we're in the wrong aisle, I think. Um, but it has like a 10 100 and it's like 500 bucks with like a monitor and everything. And we might get it upgraded to the GPU or we might just buy a pre-built or we might have to fight somebody for a laptop again. I don't know. We're going to buy it in the entire tech section. That's the new title of this video. I didn't think I'd be grocery shopping with Zach today. I can't. I can't. Box fan. I need a box fan. Stop you filming me. Peaceful. There's no it's one like 11 o'clock in the middle of a work week. You know, most people have lives. <laughs> most people are actually working. I don't, I don't, what this is, I don't know. Wow, why does it have that? What is that cooler? McAllister probably won't see it very well on camera, but it's like it's, <laughs> it's literally <laughs> hidden. <laughs> so there's that. Here's laptops. We've like seen all these Acer Nitros. I feel like McAllister's edited like 15 Acer Nitro videos. This is the bundle. Oh, and it's a 27 inch monitor, which is even better. Does it come um, scratch like that one? It does. <laughs> so for Free six, scratch. so you don't scratch it yourself. Yeah, exactly. For 650, you get Get an i3 probably 10 100 um, 8 gigs of ram a 256 gig ssd a 27 inch monitor so really we i almost think we have to ignore the peripherals yes right i mean because are we wanting to or do we just want to buy just the whole thing and just call it the setup you know I mean, we could just buy the whole thing and upgrade it with a low profile gpu and just we have 6400 we have 6400 what we're gonna do now we have to see if they have it which i'm scared i am very scared looking we'll for somebody to help us so this is the biggest problem with Walmart. So this is the biggest problem with Walmart. There's nobody in the tech section. I think we should riot. We should riot. We should, I, I had the idea. <laughs> oh wait, though. he's here. Old man, take a look at I think we found life. somebody, maybe. Uh, we were looking to get this bundle. We might have some good luck today. Oh. <laughs> they really shoved all those in there. Cause that's, well the monitor is a little different. Do you, can, are you able to look up the price of uh, like the, this one here? I can help you get it out. Oh, maybe. He's a gentleman. What's the price of that one? Two seventy-five, and it yeah. shows the. Yeah. No, we'll do that one. Yeah. At least now you'll have a little more room to put everything that in there. Can't be right. Do you want me to carry that, this over like to the desk there? Or? Three hundred dollars cheaper yeah. than it probably should be. So we'll find out. We just got a bargain from Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> man. There you go. That was an absolute like steal. That cannot be the right price. For I almost wonder. I had another theory. What if that's their cost? <laughs> it could have been their cost, and it's just not listed on their floor yet for profit. So we just bought it at like two seventy five, which is I a mean, deal. that's like a steal. That was. This video took a turn for really, the best. Really, it took a turn for the best. We basically stole it from Walmart for two hundred dollars. <laughs> so it looks like our monitor comes in this little separate box here, and um, I don't really know what this monitor pairs versus the other one. So it's bezel-less, sixteen point seven million pixels, I assume. Um, it has a blue light filter, one seventy-eight uh, view degree angle. And look how cute this little Acer. It's an Acer Aspire XC. Which I'm a little excited about this because we haven't really done a whole lot of Acer stuff in general on here. So I guess this is basically just gonna be like the HP, which I almost thought maybe this was just like a replacement for the HP or like a filler um, when Walmart didn't have theirs. Cause the guy looked and it said they had three in stock and then he opened the thing to, to these. Look at the little buddy. <laughs> Cute. But yeah, so I kinda wanna look at this now. Look at little buddy doing all the little, Look at things. little buddy go. All right, so in this bag here, we get a, a loose rogue SATA cable. We get a power cord. Mm, these look like they're probably for a hard drive. And we get a little baby, little baby mouse. I actually kind of like this mouse more than like the other ones we see with like Dell. They actually, it's kind of ergonomic, mm, which is nice. Got some grippers. Got some, got some grippers. The keyboard looks like it's a little bit different than normal. Too. It's kind of low profile, kind of small. I guess we're not really like going to be using our gaming peripherals like normal, so this might.
might be a little bit of a uh, curveball, but go ahead and get the system out and then I guess we'll take a look at the monitor too. I mean, we have to set up the full setup anyways, so it's like see-through. I'm not used to seeing this, like, but HP doesn't do this. They kind of just have some um, ventilation in the front and maybe Why is it such bit? a big bag for it? I don't know. So the computer itself, pretty sleek looking. I mean, it's a little, you know, slim tower that's about the same size and profile of like one of the slim lines that we'd see. Yeah, huge ventilation on the side, which we'll open it up in just a second. But on the front here, we actually have a DVD drive. We have, uh, it looks like USB-C, one USB-3. We have a headphone jack and then we have a separate mic jack. It's cool, it's not a combo jack. So we got uh, two HDMI out from the factory. So if you don't go to the grab start, that's definitely nice to have. Two more USB-3s, four USB-2s a ethernet and then we have our standard audio jack so pretty basic you can see our upgrade ports down here um, that's where we'll be putting our graphics card that we find but let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like inside very bare bones yeah very basic so we do only get a single eight gig stick of ram which is going to be ddr4 they actually use a data which is kind of interesting to see somewhat aftermarket cpu cooler for that i3 it definitely looks like it's a little bit bigger than like the stock cooler it looks like we have a 80 plus bronze that's weird to see um, 80 plus bronze light on power supply, 300 watt. A little That's bit more better watt. than I yeah. thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, usually it's 180 in HPs. A single PCIe 16, which is uh, mounted up top, so that's nice. You could fit a two lane card in there if you wanted to, but it does have to be low profile. And then we have an SSD mount right here. And I'm assuming our SSD, so here's our Wi-Fi card. That's an M.2 Wi-Fi. And then With the NVMe. Yep, we got an NVMe right down in there. And I think I can see what brand it is from here. Let's see. It's a 256 gig. Camera, I swear SK it's Hynix. A... Uh, I thought only HP used that OEM, but I guess there's another one in the market. So yeah, I mean, we're just gonna basically show you guys how to install the graphics card. Um, Go are we shopping. install storage or anything? Or we... Yeah, we probably should add another drive just for our sake. You don't have to do this at home. I mean, you can get some games installed, but for us, we're gonna install more games than that little SSD can handle. Let's go so. shopping for a graphics card. Yeah, let's, let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Right. I'd like to buy a 6400 XT. We'll just take one of these. It's four gigs of uh, VRAM. Bro, drive, bro. Are we upgrading the drive? We want to add a, how do you even say it? Fang, Fang Shang? Fang Shang, <laughs> Fang Shang. Shang. Five, 12 gig, two and a half inch drive. Yeah, we'll show you guys how to upgrade both. Let's do it. Fang Shang. So how do you install this GPU? We take off this bracket here because we've done that actually many times where we like forget it's there. Like, why is it like, going, going in? I'm not used to this. Normally it's like they're all fancy and have like little brackets, but this is just OG. It's just actually going to use a uh, power supply screw. We got to break this little lane off. Now, if you have a two lane card, you'll break both lanes off, but we only have a single lane. So now take the ish. You line her up. I'm so excited to see this. This thing's gonna perform so nice. So now we're just gonna take a power supply screw, which is one of these guys. I call them coarse thread power supply or hard drive screws. And we're gonna drain it in the top like this. Kind of hold your card in place just so it's kind of where you want it to be. Here we go. She's nice and in place and we're done. I mean, that was that was pretty easy. Even an elementary school can do it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, get some games downloaded on this bad boy and then set up the full setup and uh, try to game on it. All right, guys, we were playing some Apex Legends to start off. So we had some weird settings that we had to get around. So we basically had to go to like a medium 1080p preset. Um, we could go low and maybe get a little more FPS, but I didn't really think it'd give us a whole lot more than what we're getting now. I definitely still think we're gonna be held back with that single stick of eight gigs of RAM. But I know in the past we found that in Apex, it didn't make like a huge difference having dual channels. So. I don't know, maybe if we get bold and we think there's some more performance, we'll add a second stick because we got plenty of DDR4 on hand. Yeah, we did. The, the main reason why we're thinking there's uh, performance on the table with the single 8 gigs is because a system that we did recently with an 8 Gen i5 and 16 gigs of RAM dual channel was getting better performance than this. So that's the only other variable we have in mind that might improve the performance. But yeah, it's still pretty hard to run um, with this configuration getting well, higher than 60 FPS, but it's still playable. The mouse though, <laughs> I'm having a fun time sniping The with mouse that. is just so small. I said I liked it better. Oh. I said I liked it better than the HP mice, but I, I don't really know if I do because it's it's very small. It's hard to grip. Oh God. Oh. Oh, oh he is a sniper. Oh, sniping duel, but you have the high ground. And I also know exactly where he's gonna be peeking at all times. God, they're like an ant on this monitor. I feel like I haven't killed anyone in forever. Ah! We're gonna have to get in here and single-handedly take over this space. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, is that a Kraber he's trying to hit me with? I think he's trying to point blank. Oh my god, he hit me with it. He's no scoping. Oh. Okay. Got him. Yup. 
Oh. Yo. Whoa. GG's. Whoa. So yeah, that's Apex Legends. Not amazing with the single channel, but it's playable. And I don't even know what they're saying, but they're probably saying bad things. Probably so bad things. Here. So we let's just gotta keep talking next. We gotta go. All right, goodbye. Uh, Next game. Hey guys, we in Fortnite. Performance settings, uh, medium view distance, medium textures. We'll turn the high res textures off because that does cause some lag. And um, yeah, it's looking okay. Again, we're probably gonna be held back by single channel, uh, eight gigs of memory. But you know, we'll see exactly how much when we drop in tilted. We'll see when we land. The FPS ain't looking too solid right now. It is very slow to load stuff in. That is normally a issue with single channel eight gigs. Um, I guess it really just depends system to system. We're getting some stutters, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that person was just standing still. Thank you for the kill. But yeah, like 60-ish FPS. I, I am expecting more from a 10-105. You got like really fast single core performance and 10th gen, especially compared to like an 8500 or something that we've benchmarked recently. and was getting well over 100 plus FPS. So it really has to be the single channel unless there's some weird power stuff going on behind the scenes. Oh God. I definitely had that theory too. I tried to get in the BIOS, but wasn't super successful. They're unloading their clip. There we go, into the ocean. You're going into the ocean. Oh, oh, that was a real player and they almost killed me. I was goofing around too much. Ah! Oh, gold clips. You're done. Anonymous, you're done. You've been pumpkined. Before we wrap things up, we'll probably retest um, probably Apex because that was the one that had the most stutters. Um, and we'll see exactly if the performance gets any better. Oh my God, I just got destroyed by Keen Jungle. We'll see if the performance is any better. And uh, then we'll just wrap this video up real quick. Cause you know, you guys like to see when we do these upgrades. All right, gamers, we have 16 gigs now. It's not looking a lot different. Um, we are using more RAM physically, so. We're definitely getting higher FPS now. We were never hitting a hundred before. Yeah, it is a different map. So it's not entirely apples to apples, but I mean, it's, Apex, for the most part, runs pretty similar across the board. It's apples to pears. It's apples to pears. Ooh. Oh. Oh, 140. All right, we're, we're going to get up top here, and I think that's going to be the way I hit a little, a little crazy shot. This, this has to change now. Hello, Bozo. You done. I guess what we'll do once Jackson gets this dub right here is uh, run around a Rocky League just for the fun of it, and then uh, we'll just wrap this video up real quick. So you guys might be able to hear this. PC be getting loud and go burr in Rocky League. It's that CP fan and GP fan going crazy, but yeah, Rocky League, we're pretty much running like normal settings. I think it's like quality settings or whatever. Uh, nice FPS numbers, it's very quiet. We'll play without boost. Here we go. Okay, all right. Because <laughs> this... <laughs> <laughs> bro, say go easy on him, bro. Oh man, whoa, whoa, he woke up, he woke up. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, maybe, this, maybe this is a good gamer, I don't know. Yeah, 200 plus FPS. Rocket League definitely needs a game to run. Oh, I'm playing without boost, playing without boost. Oh, oh, oh I missed, oh no. We right, at least get a goal so we, uh, you know, win, even if I goof around. Whee! I, I can't even see what this guy's saying. It's being blocked by MSI Afterburner. Oh, the epic of saves. Oh my God. Oh, 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 what a shot. Oh, it's blocked. I'm like his little training buddy right now. I'm just sitting in the goal and he has to score on me. Shooting the goal. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Ugh. Okay. Oh, he blew me up. Oh, I got to, oh, he forfeited. Not too shabby. I think we got a pretty dang good deal considering that Walmart is actually selling this online for 400 bucks. We got it for 275. We'll start this video up real quick. All right, gamers, we just got done benchmarking the Walmart setup and we did a lot of various upgrades because 
We decided that the 8 gigs of RAM wasn't enough. We decided that it needed a graphics card. And we also decided that 256 gigs of storage was not enough. So we added a 512 gig SSD. And all together, we think we're about 450 bucks sent up your taxes and everything. So hey, 450 bucks for all of this, really good deal. Obviously, if you had originally paid 450 for this, you'd be more in like 600 to uh, maybe 650. And at that point, you know, we've definitely done a lot better on the channel. Yeah, you could probably build something yourself, um, doing some deal hunting and make something around that price range on your own without getting this bundle but we always like to go to walmart because you average people out there who want to you know buy something locally upgrade it, and have it the same day uh this is an option for you i can't guarantee that you're gonna get this for 275 at your local walmart but it was still cool to see that we were able to get this from walmart and somehow get it for 275 dollars so let us know what you think of that down below all you walmart employees let us know how do you think we got this for 275 dollars and check the link down below if you want to see this listing on walmart's website to see if it's available in your local store so as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other T YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now this full setup will be passed down to you guys in the savings at PCBros.tech. Now in November, we're gonna be having some really good sales. So make sure you actually make it to the end of these videos because we will be telling you some awesome discount codes besides the Toasty Bros 2 one. PCBros.tech is where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and whatever the heck else you want from PC Bros. And uh, yeah, right now use code Toasty Bros 2 on checkout to save 2%. But once again, into the videos and future videos, we're gonna be talking about some special discount codes for you guys. See you guys later, goodbye.